much we choose to eat is called portion size. For example, if I choose to eat two granola bars or four pretzels or 10 strawberries, that is my portion size. Now let's compare portion size with what serving size means. On the side or back of boxes of food, there is a nutrition facts label. This label always lists a serving size, which is a standardized amount of food. For example, one cup of cereal, two cookies, or five crackers. Serving sizes helps people to understand how much they are eating. Let's take a look at this box of whole wheat crackers. The food label tells us that one serving is seven crackers. If I ate the whole box, I would actually be eating 11 servings, 77 crackers. Does serving size really matter? Let's take a look at this food label and focus on one part of it, the sugars, to help answer that question. It says here there are 46 grams of sugar per serving. So if you drink this whole liter of pop in one sitting or even in one day, you'd actually be drinking three servings. 46 grams plus 46 plus 46. That's 138 grams of sugar. This much sugar. So, to answer that question, does serving size matter? The answer is yes. It's recommended that you have no more than five teaspoons of sugar every day. That was 11 tablespoons of sugar. So why do we need to care about all this? What can happen is that when we don't pay attention to how much we eat, we tend to eat too much. Think about if you're eating a large bag of popcorn while you're hanging out or doing your homework. You might almost eat the whole bag without realizing it. What's a better option? How about if we take out some of the popcorn, a portion, and put it in a bowl to eat it? This way, we don't end up eating the whole package. Remember, we need to eat our food in moderation, not too much and not too little.